Well, good day there, friends, and welcome back uh, to the weekly episodes of our Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, campaign replay. And we left off in Strawberry, and we're about to rescue my um, Maiko, <clears throat> the fuckwit. Yeah. So, <laughs> excuse me. So we left that one till last because I, I don't think anyone likes Maiko. Really. Except Dutch, for some reason. Alright. <clears throat> she might get my horse. Cause just about enough trouble for us. What? Hey, look, there must be some confusion. There's got to be confusion because, yep, yeah, I'm not wanted here, and I haven't done anything. Come on now, boy. Not here anyway. I don't know. What's your problem? No problem. Morning, friend. Hey, mister. Hello. All right. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is right. I'm just used to the bounty board being here. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you got to do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. <laughs> That's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. Hmm. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. Kind of a dumb place to leave that, actually. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Oy. I don't know about this. <laughs> anyway. Come on, you gotta try something. Ugh. <laughs> 
Let's get out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Damn it. Woman, like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny, get out here. Need to put a uh, yeah, express. Skinny, it ain't skinny, Micah. It's northern. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. I got time for this shit. <clears throat> Nice shooting. Wild, all right. Wild? Me? 
Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Well, um, that was a good way to... <clears throat> I think we finally lost. Start the episode. So. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why <laughs> you gotta act like the court chest? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes. Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. The fuck was that all about? <laughs> nice, we got an offhand uh, holster. Just one problem. Uh, yeah, can't go to the gun store here. Can't go to the um, well, any of the stores there. So, yeah, I might have to end up. I think we might head into Lemoyne County next, I'm not sure. But, anyway. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, what did we get then? Is that a... Gold! It's our first gold. Uh, killer mounted lawman within 55 seconds. Wow, I wasn't even trying for that. 15 headshots, got heaps of those. At least 70% accuracy, yep. And complete the mission without taking any health items. Oh yeah, I took a bunch of um, tobacco and that was it. Nice! Hell yeah. <clears throat> Why is it zoomed in so close? There we go. All right, let's get out of here. You did use a lot of tobacco though, so. I think we're just gonna head straight back. Just thinking about doing some hunting, but jeez. What the hell? Don't know what he was. What the hell on about? Probably because he recognised me. I might, uh... Let's have a look up here. I... 
Let's take that off. Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's up, buddy? Senor, can I show you something? What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. Uh, no, no, hold on. <laughs> you see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Whatever, yeah. I could just steal it off him. But, we'll, we'll be uh, nice. What the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Alright. <clears throat> so we've actually got, um... Treasure maps. Uh, one treasure map. Alright. So... Find a treasure. Cool. Use. New reinforced equipment and the trapper. That looks like that's out in, um... Whoop whoop. Yeah, yeah, what do you call it? Friggin... New Austin. So, yeah. Don't know about that. What it looks like. Yeah, church. Uh, but then again. Might be up near Cumberland Forest, too. Not exactly sure. Anyway, if we find it, we find it. If we don't, we don't. Don't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Apparently, it's around here somewhere. So... Is it the burnt town, maybe? I don't know. I'm not too worried. Idiot. Yeah, Driscoll's, they can get fucked. Okay there, boy. Uh, 
Could have helped the, the low man though. So we go see Dutch. Um, see what happens next. So we've got the brush. What I probably should do is sleep till night time. And then go talk to him. Sixty bucks, that's not cheap. Alright. Oh, no, I can't sleep. No lad. We keep heading east, is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Javier, aren't you cold dressed like that? Don't tell me how to dress. All right, let's go. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it. Which is where? Oh. Right out. Yep, going the right way. Good. Just want to make sure. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> So 
So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Excuse me. It up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first to base it. Let's see. We got <clears throat> express rounds. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles. Let's go take a look. Actually, hell, oh, they're both in pretty good name. Yep. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Careful. I'm being careful. Someone in there. Yep. Okay. You can come out of there. You okay? I don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. Go on. 
going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send a woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. Arthur, we should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Let's get rid of this. Okay, looks like they go down this way. Oh, yeah. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just... Let me make sure this is right. So it's going up there. Continues along the shore here. Now, yeah. I was saying... Bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Set it right in front of you. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. <laughs> if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. <laughs> what is it with you and him? Well, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. But think this is the right way. Give me a second. Yeah, I see it, dude. It's right up there. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So, anyway, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Easy now. What's Where that? is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Falle Vorsicht! Take cover! I see three coming this way. You get. Um, I got snake oil. I'll see what they've left behind for us. Yeah, right. I'll salute these first. 
lasst mich gehen. Hier drüben. Come on. He looks in some pain there. Yeah, yeah, man. Sie sind alle weg. Cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte. What? All right. I thought you wanted to get this over with, Arthur. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Oh, there's a dead guy there. Anything else? It's in the back there. There's barrels. Gotta feed the horse. All right. Well, this is good because uh, we gotta get a boat. Don't know why, but might come in handy. Uh, jetty over there. Come on, bro. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Ja. Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? <lacht> sie bringen mich zu deiner Familie? <lacht> Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, boy. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz. Ah. Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Ein Moment. Äh... Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Oh, yes, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> It's a very nice gift. Thank you. That will go a long right. way. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, 
I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Let's see in chapter two, folks. A few days later. Yeah, silver. Take it. What do we miss? Yeah. Accuracy and return the captive to his family. Nope. I wanted to loot. <clears throat> hey, Sadie. You okay, Sadie? I'm no damn kitchen maid. Pearson's driving me crazy. Well, we all gotta pitch in. Well, I should get back to it. She's not happy. <laughs> not a happy lass. Let's donate that gold bar, shall we? Uh, let's give it a few items. Ho 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 ho! Yeah! 300 bucks. Boom! Alright, let's get some upgrades. What do we want? Um, maybe it is time to... Hmm, 360 bucks for a boat. If we can get Pearson better tools, he can make extra gear. More room to hitch. Hmm. Let's get this. Upgrade Arthur's, uh... There we go. <clears throat> now we got... I think we got the whole map available to us now. I'm not sure. Improve the rest of the tents in the camp. Some real firepower. Hmm. Might be better off getting these. Medical wagons now improved, good. And we need to restock. Alright, good. Let's go have a feed. Arthur. Ah. Yes, mate. You okay? Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good. Still hasn't got any uh, food ready for us, but... Good morning, Arthur. Our calls are topped up. There he is. Any leads? I'm working on something. Okay. You're going to catch a chill dressed like that. It's 24 degrees. What are you talking about? Good morning, Arthur. Morning, dear. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. Okay. All things considered, it ain't that bad. Sounds good. <laughs> anyway, let's go talk to Dutch. So I managed to get back into Valentine and collect on those sheep. What? That wasn't too smart. It was fun. 
I'll put your share in your wallet. Okay. Thanks. Good. Well, let me know. Yep. Did he? A bounty of 50 bucks here. Oh, okay, there's something there. Uh, actually, I better stock up on ammo and all that. And I should probably go and pay my bounty for this place. Oh, he's busy. No, right, come on, talk to the horse. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> All right. Sounds good. So where's my money? So what do you... He left me some cigarettes. Said he left it in my wallet. I don't know. Let's go top up our ammo anyway. So, I've got, oh, another fire arrow. Those are always welcome. And, full up on arrows, good. Full up on those. All right. It's actually uh, nice to have all that stuff. How's my beard looking? Eh, it's alright. I didn't trim just yet. Probably doing it a bit of a bath though, actually. So, let's go take care of that before we talk to Dutch. Como estas? Morning. Rest up, I need you strong. I've no problem resting up. Got some work ahead. All right, Arthur. So, the New South. How you huh. doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny, us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Alright, let me just have a... Give me a sec. Yeah, alright, I also need a bath. There we go. Nice and clean. So we're going to see a Hosea, apparently. Maybe not. Hey, old girl, come on 
on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing his folks. Uh, okay, man. First a few. Come on, Jose. Let's go fish. Come on, man. You're going fishing, eh? All right. couple and their unruly son. <laughs> it feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. All right. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, All right. we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. This is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Whatever you say, Dutch. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Go. Cold. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, how are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right! Come on, we're losing them! Will you relax? We're not losing them! Faster, come on! What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please! My neck is on the line here. I get it, I'm doing my best. So what oh. are these fellas wanted for? 
Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping, they're the lowest of the low. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh! That must have hurt. There was a bridge there. Just what I signed up for. Come Let's on, try that again. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Get closer. Go back to pop. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. Hey, stop that. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Come on, Let's get go. to the side of that train. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Now he's throwing off. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, you bastard. Come on! Do it! I'm right out here if you need me! What am talking now, huh? Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Ah, oh, just about. Uh, pick him up. Yep. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in, come on. A fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. 
Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've mm. been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Indeed. So I will have to pay a bounty while I'm here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Yes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Mm. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sure. Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. We're supposed to go fishing. Okay, <laughs> this way. Oh, want to put him in there? All right. Where do you want him? Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. <laughs> we got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and them falling out of Rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying and Arthur. That's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. Mm. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Alrighty. Okay, so these two plantation families, 
Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these brake weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Yeah, let's go fishing. Sure, <clears throat> why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Okay. Gotta find the post office, so. So hopefully we can pass one on the way, maybe? Really need to pay that uh, bounty. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Okay, fella. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Chalonis. What a terrible thought. And you get to ask him one question. Okay. <clears throat> this is the spot. Down to the left there. All right. Why the hell did you go that way? Silly horse. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. All right, let's go get him. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right, yeah, we've got about 20 minutes. Should right. be enough. <clears throat> this looks like a fine vessel. 
Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. You're supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Should do us right. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. You won't catch much without a rod. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, uh, worms are good for tiddlers. So we got some big fish over there. Oh, there's one there. Bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch Sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. All right, lure up. You heard the expert, Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Yep. Don't give up, Arthur. You'll get the hang of it. That feels like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Ah, I should have had that one. Arthur's got a bite. Oh. You got a bite there, Arthur. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. We got a bite. There we go. Shit. Got away. They're nibbling. There he is. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Steelhead well, trout. Told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> Would like to see that. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> yeah, keep that too. The next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those? Yeah, I can see a sturgeon over there, but... Oh, hang on, this one there. <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was real miserable bastard but he loved to fish we go out all the time but one day we were river fishing Damn it. when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge and out of the blue wesley stands up takes off his hat bows his head go on there then he sits down picks his rod back up and carries on doesn't say a word Not so i'm so. a little surprised and say wesley that was nice of you. He replies, well, 
felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us mm. saying how Blackwater was the... I said, there's one. Was east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pretends have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine. Years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I... always see eye to eye I wasn't always a very obedient child I can only imagine who's coming after it because I loved her still had my own way and she me and her <laughs> all right there's one now, even from the grave she managed to have the last laugh Just disappeared. You got something biting, Arthur. Not bad, Arthur. That was uh not bad. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Alright, I saw a big one jumping. Over there somewhere. So see what we can get. <clears throat> Fish on the line, Arthur. There you go. That's a nice one. It is. How big? In some pretty decent you sizes. One, eh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we've got a lake sturgeon there. See what I can get. They usually like worms, I think. No, cr crayfish. Is crayfish? All right, no, that's uh, ones around the lake. No. All right, we got some big ones over there. <clears throat> By the looks of it, let's see what I can get.
So I don't know how long we have. That's on the hook, Arthur. Really? Thanks. So if you want to reel it in quicker, you just keep flicking the rod like that, and yeah. Stop reeling it in when it starts to struggle, and then you just... So wear it out a bit. Good job, Arthur. Oh, it's this one. Oh yeah, keep that. Oh, worth keeping that one. Yeah, totally. And I'm getting my uh, strength stat up. What do we got? We do have a big one over there. Let it go. I'll start reeling in when he gets close. Are you trying to make your lure look like a? D I'm trying to wait for. Nah. Let's reset. They won't be interested if it ain't moving. I know, dude. I know. Oh, here we go. So they're right near our boat, though. That's. I think you need the uh, special lake, lake lures for those. I had a nibble. I didn't touch it though. Alright, let's go over there then. Alright, let's set the line. I'll go straight past that sturgeon. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Nice, you hooked him. Well, oh, we got a. Well done. At least we're getting some fair size ones, though. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it. That'll grill up <clears throat> nice. So we can hand those into Pearson. Should be good. Uh, another one over there. Alright. Just hook it out all the way out. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur. Not yet. God. You should know better than anyone. Don't reel him in until, you, until they stop um, struggling. Yeah, I'm doing better than you, bloody old farts. Oh, it's a smallmouth ba bass. Hell yeah, keep that one. How long have we got to go? Oh, a few minutes. We'll keep this going for a little bit. Um, really want to get a sturgeon. Swim in the wrong way. No. He's right there. 
just can't attract him for some reason. It's going under the boat. Alright. Um, let's go all the way out there then. Just random area. You have them. Hmm. So that might be a slightly bigger one. I don't think it's sturgeon though. Oh. No, it's not. Get a weight to it though. So, yeah, two kilo. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Pleased with a lot of them. Um, well, you know what? I think we might. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just nice. follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. <laughs> I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burnt and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know. What song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. <laughs> well, we three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Hey, that is a bully boy. <laughs> men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy come pledge me on this round of 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 Not let the folks back. <laughs> Is that Molly? Yep. What are you been doing? <laughs> Right. All right. Do we get a free yeah. boat? I. Well, I mean, we. are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. All right. 
take in the view. <clears throat> I'll give these fish to Pearson. So, what did I get? Catch him, return Anders Anderson. Yeah, muck that up. And knock him out without taking a hit. That was my fault. With your constant Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. All right, you know, just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Captain, did they do things differently in the Navy? Yeah, they left the ladies in port. <laughs> and you prefer Karen? that, did you? Uncle? Sometimes. Aren't you cold in just that? No. What is going on here? Well, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. You stood there laughing at me. We felt like a six-year-old. Go ahead, they said. Shield us. So I did. Bye, bye, bye. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! Enough! Both of you! Well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Oh, wait, I didn't mean to start this. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Oh, damn it. Hang on. I need to... I wanted to drop these fish off. And I can't donate them now. I don't think. Nope. God damn it. Hang on, can I save? No. Uh, I hope there's an auto save. Hang on. So, yes, there is. So, we'll probably just have to replay it um, in the next episode. So, sorry about that, folks. I, yeah, I didn't mean to stop that. But, yeah, she was about to, like she was about to stab Pearson, so. I hit intervene for some reason. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, folks, and I uh, hope you can join us next time. We will go into town with Sadie. Um, little tiny spoiler. Uh, Sadie is one of my favourite characters in this. So um, so she starts to have a much more active role uh, from here on out. So, But, yeah, I won't say any more, more than that in case you haven't seen or played the game. Um, and hope to see you next week. Anyway, this is Huey signing off, and until next time, take it easy, and bye for now.